to the point now as you know a manager as a person as a man as a friend where if i say i'm gonna do something i just do it and whatever it takes to get to that end goal is what we had to. when me and bryson met it was just two people who never met each other getting together and just talking about music and where we felt like music should go, you know, in that R&B space. We just told ourselves that we were gonna accomplish this goal no matter what, we are gonna do it our way. When you see Bryson Tiller, when you hear Bryson Tiller, he's just somebody who's not trying to be something. He's, the music comes straight from the heart and it took off really fast. I look at him as a friend, as a partner, as a brother, and it's just something that we built from, you know, scratch together. So it's not really like managing to me, it's just like an everyday process that I just have to go through to just, you know, keep this thing going. Being a manager, you have a lot of responsibilities, like a lot of people's lives in your hands. And that's one of the things that I wake up every day and think about, like Bryson wakes up every day and says, hey, how's Neil gonna better my life? That's just the sense of focusness that I gotta keep. With my hustle, anybody will tell you, I'm a workaholic. You pick up the phone nine times out of 10, I'm up. I always just feel like there's always something that can be done to get us to the next level and to get the situation better, so. I was interning for Envy. That was my first internship ever. And to be honest with you, the one thing that I learned when I walked in there and I just saw how Envy was moving, he just made it look fun. One day we were in the office and he said something like, yo, I gotta go to work. I gotta go to a radio station. Then after that, I gotta go to Sirius. Then after that, I got an MTV show. Then I got a DJ three parties tonight. And I was just like, wow, like he's really getting his money out here. I realized that it wasn't even about the money. Like he really loved doing what he was doing. And that's the vision I started chasing right then and there. Everybody's definition of success is different. You could have different levels of success from like LeBron winning a championship to a kid getting an A plus in school. Your success level really just depends on what your beliefs in, what your passions are, and what like that ultimate goal is. So with me, I more so just look at people as far as like how happy they are. Okay, so you could have a billion, but I, don't, I know a lot of rich people are sad. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know a lot of rich people are depressed. I chase happiness more so. My success just really comes from as happy as I am. When, when there's days as far as like, I'm feeling sad and down and depressed, that's why I know I'm not successful, so I go try to find it in some way. One of the biggest things with just a regular day is just to give the youth the opportunity. I just feel like there's a lot of kids out here with a lot of talent, a lot of dreams that, you know, could potentially help this culture too, and I just want to give them the opportunity to share with the world. I bet you don't